it's Liv. Today I have another bento box lunch recipes video for you, so we are going to do three recipes today. But before we get started, I just wanted to tell you about a little giveaway I'm doing for one of these vegan t-shirts. So the shirts are made by Earth Bull on Instagram, and she has an Etsy shop where she sells them. So there's this one, Friends Not Food. There is... This one that says 100% herbivore, and she has a ton of other shirts. So to enter, go to my Instagram, which is just at Lives Healthy Life, and find the picture of me wearing the Friends Not Food shirt. So everything you need to know about the giveaway and all of that is in the post. The giveaway is international, but it does close on Saturday, so make sure that you go and do that right now. So yeah, I've done enough of these videos that I think you know what to expect, and that is everything I have to say for now, so let's get into the video. To get started with the pasta, just boil however much pasta you want. I think I used about a cup and a half, but it all depends, of course, on the size of your lunch box or lunch container. Then you need to make the pesto, so I will include a link in the description box to my favorite pesto recipe. It's super easy, um, so if you want that, just go get the link, but if you want to use store-bought pesto, that's totally fine. Then just drain your pasta and add the pesto on top and give it a good stir. Um, you can add however much you want. I added about three heaping spoonfuls. And then just add in whatever veggies you want. I just added in some diced fresh tomato, but you could also add chunks of bell pepper or mushrooms or onions, whatever you want. I also just added some extra chunks of tomato on top for decoration. Next, in the other bento box, you're going to add some pretzels. And then in the littlest container, I added a few spoonfuls of this chocolate hazelnut butter, which is basically like vegan Nutella. And it is so good for dipping pretzels in. And it's also really good for dipping berries and fruit in. So I added raspberries, but you could also add strawberries, pieces of apple, banana. So Malbento actually sent me a few new products to show you. So here is the little pocket cutlery set. And so for this lunchbox, I just needed the fork. So it fits right on top in between the um, flat lid and the rounded lid. So as you can see, it just fits right in there and it's a perfect fit. So for the next lunchbox, I am using the silicone mold bento inserts that they sent me and you just need one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds, three quarters of a cup of non-dairy milk, and you can also add in any sweetener and spices you want at this point, so like maybe some agave or maple syrup, some cinnamon. And then just give that a good stir and put it in the fridge overnight or for at least a couple hours. And it should look like this, like kind of a pudding consistency when it's done. So then on top, I just added some swirls of that chocolate hazelnut butter again, and this stuff is seriously so good. And then I also added some almond butter, but you could use peanut butter or sunflower butter, and some non-dairy chocolate chips. Then again, I just added some raspberries on the side of this, and I didn't put them right in the pudding because I didn't want them to get mushy, but I'll just put them on top right when I'm about to eat it. So for the sushi, you want to cook some rice. Um, if you want to be traditional and legit, you can use sushi rice. I've also seen people use brown rice and regular rice. They just make it a little bit more sticky, but um, you're just going to put the rice on a sheet of nori. And I am definitely not a professional when it comes to making sushi. I just know what works for me. I've watched some YouTube videos, but if you want to learn the, the perfectly correct and proper way to do it, there are so many YouTube videos and so many resources out there for you to check out. But basically what I do is just use wet fingers to push the sushi into an even layer. And then I just put in some sliced up veggies. So I used cucumber and bell peppers because that's what I had. But you could also use avocado, sweet potato, tofu, tempeh, like really you can put in whatever you want. 
Then you're just going to start rolling. So make sure you pinch the first edge down to make sure that you're actually gonna be rolling it. As you can see, I needed to push it in a bit. And then just start rolling and pulling the bamboo mat as you go. And if you find like me that one little part isn't stuck down, you can just put some water on the edge and kind of roll it and hold it for a few seconds and it will stick together. Then using a super sharp knife, just cut it into pieces as big or as small as you want. And it should look like this when you are done cutting it. And I used one of the little Mom Bento sauce containers here and I filled that with soy sauce but you could also use sweet chili sauce. I love using sweet chili sauce to dip my sushi in. And another really cute product that they sent me was the collapsible chopsticks. So all you do for these is take off the covers, pull it off of the little, uh, I don't even know what you call that, little clip thing. <laughs> and then you put the covers onto the pointy ends and it makes a full set of chopsticks. So this last lunch idea is actually more for people who just need some snacks or if they, you know, if you don't need to be sustained for like eight hours, then this is a good one for you because obviously you need some more proteins and fats if you want to be kept full longer, but this is just more of a snack idea. So for this one, I just added some chopped up veggies and some hummus to dip. And in the other box, I added some low sodium corn chips. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I'm above eating chips. I love chips and I eat corn chips a lot actually and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. They're perfectly fine as long as you don't eat them in mass quantities every single day but having a few here and there is really not a big deal. And then in the other little silicone cup that they sent me, I put some salsa. And then on the side I added some soft caramelly medjool dates. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time.